I'm at Cullen Kelly's house for a good old geek out. Kelly. I should have known I'd be alive on camera. Right. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Say hello. Hey, everybody. It's Cullen Kelly in the flesh. We're here. Where'd he go? Get inside. Come on. Let's talk about some other stuff. I'm actually at Cullen Kelly's house. Cullen, great to meet you last. Finally, in person, buddy. I'm looking forward to a little tour of the studio. Yeah. yeah see the kit that you actually use. Absolutely. Um, it's nice to see you actually in person instead of just on YouTube. Yeah. Did you think I existed? I wasn't sure you did. Yeah, exactly. Please. Like, <laughs> we're real, we're real and no surprises. You look just as beautiful as you do on YouTube. <laughs> Clean living and a pure heart. Exactly. Um, tell us a bit more about you, though, what you do, because I, I sort of just know you as you know, someone who's just got this massive load of information about how DaVinci Resolve works. But yeah. I'm sure there's something else in there. <laughs> well, you'll be surprised to hear that when I'm not talking about color grading and image science on YouTube, I'm just doing color grading and image science. So it's my whole world. Uh, when I'm not doing my YouTube stuff, I'm a senior colorist, I'm an image scientist, a developer, all that fun stuff. So I'm just living and breathing color. Great. Okay. Yeah. And things good at the minute? What sorts of things you've been working on? Yeah, things are going great. Um, I get to work on lots of different projects. I tend to do uh, four to five jobs a week that range from you know long form to short form, you know commercials, documentaries, kind of the whole range of things. And great. Yeah, it's great. Cool. Okay, so talk us about your setup. I know you just moved house. Yes. So and you just had a baby. Yeah. Um, so not much going on. So I'm not going to show you too much what's going on over there. But <laughs> here it's all looking very nice. It's working right here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. This frame is great. So uh, there's not going to be much B-roll in this one. But let's uh, let's talk us through your your main weapons. Yeah. So I keep things really simple in terms of uh, my actual physical setup here. I've got my iMac Pro over here. Okay. Um, that uh, is, I guess, in computer uh, like terms, getting a, a little older, but it does its job really great. Okay. I was going to ask what sort of spec that is. Too. Yeah, and to be honest, I'm as like uh, much as I know about like color science and all that stuff. I'm kind of a knucklehead when it comes to hardware. Right. I have like if it works, I run it, and when it doesn't, I ask someone to suggest a new machine and I buy it. So you're looking at maybe something like the Mac Studio? Yeah, I think the Mac Studio is interesting. I'm I'm like not I'm I'm sort of waiting for the dust to settle. On that yeah, one, yeah. But I think I don't, I've not seen much out there yet on it. So yeah, exactly. also go to NAB, so I'm going to check out if anyone's been actually yeah running it properly because I'd be interested to see what happens when it's not. Dedicated GPU, you know, to actually how it does perform. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, look to you for whether or not okay. I should go right. or not. I'll I'll now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that's the the heart of it, I guess. Yeah. So that's the iMac Pro. I'm just running that, uh, you know, for the actual machine. I've got my LG 32 EP 950, which I think I'm getting right over here for my reference monitor. Yeah. Works great for SDR in a pinch for getting like a quick preview of an HDR. It's great. You obviously can't master HDR on it, but it's a great uh, sort of like uh, client preview yeah. uh, monitor for that purpose. What is going to look at then? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. And then uh, over here to uh, our, uh, my left, I've got my big uh, LG client monitor that I've had calibrated. Um, so that's kind of my setup here in the room. Uh, and then other hardware wise, I've got my mini panel down here. Yeah. I really like the mini panel. Um, it's a good form factor for like, you know, there wouldn't be any room for the advanced panel on this desk. and. This has most of the controls that I need. Sure. Um, I gotta get a stream deck. We were talking about that last night. Yeah, I yeah. I need to round out my kit with I that. I mean, that really does complement it well. Yeah. I think to the point, you know, a couple of stream decks even, and that, you, you're well on your way to half an advanced panel. Yes. It's, yeah, yeah. That seems to be the consensus there. But obviously, yeah, you've chosen this desk. I, I guess this is because it's a set up stand. Yeah, it goes up and down. I can roll it around. Uh, and I, I do like having a pretty simple, minimal, you know, like actual physical setup for myself. And I do a lot of my grading actually with my pen, with my Wacom tablet, yeah. as opposed to uh, any control surface. So I love my pen. Yeah, I know you're a pen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 15, 20 years, I think. Yeah, that's why we're friends. In fact, I need to hold it. Yeah. I'm actually holding Cullen Kelly's Wacom pen. This is like <laughs> The holy grail. It puts you in your it, it puts you in your happy place as soon feel, as you're holding it. I feel soothed already. It's like, <laughs> it's like a pacifier. Good and good good energy coming through the pen. Yeah. So lots of lots of uh, work happens with that pen, and then maybe the most like uh, sort of like the newest upgrade for me that uh, only happened recently is I've got my uh, iPad uh, over here that I just use as this little like sidecar thing that Mac OS does. It works great. Do that like dual screen thing in Resolve and I can throw all my gallery stills down there. Yeah. Especially for long form when I've got lots of them that I need to be thumbing through. It's just easier to have a dedicated yeah, little yeah, bit yeah. of real estate for that. Um, and scopes on it maybe or more stills? Yeah, more stills over there. I kind of leave it dedicated for that and then I do scopes here on the big monitor and seem to kind of find a home for everything with yeah. that configuration. 
Okay, good little setup. That's it, man. Um, what's that mean, storage-wise? Storage-wise, simple as well. I've got an SSD RAID that uh, isn't huge in capacity. I keep, you know, only active jobs on there, and then you know, like archive stuff off as soon as it's been delivered. Yeah, uh, and it works great for me. Really fast uh, read and writes, and does everything that it needs to. And that's kind of the one-stop solution for that. So, I try to keep it really simple and really, you know, like I, I am running my own company here, so I don't have a dedicated engineer, or IT person. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. the simpler and more reliable I can keep things, the more time I can spend yeah, no, rating and making stuff. Makes sense. Yeah. So I know you do, and you've got a whole plethora of plugins and stuff that you've done yeah. yourself. Yeah. So um, I presume you're not using other people's plugins, I mean. I tend to make my own. You've got yeah. to trust your own, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> if you're not using if them. If I'm not using them, <laughs> yeah, you're probably not going to want Do you want to tell us a bit about how that's developed or where, you know, what's your favorite ones or? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I mean, like, you know, my, my uh, in general, my, my quip is that I love to make things, as in color grading, but I also love to make things that make things, as in color grading tools. Uh, so I spend a lot of time doing that. And I've got my Coloid plugins uh, that uh, are uh, kind of the, on the more high-end uh, side of things. But what I'm probably most excited about right now uh, are my Elements LUTs that came out uh, earlier this year that get a lot of the functionality and like the beauty of those Coloid plugins at a much more uh, reasonable, like a, a much better and initial kind of price point. Yeah. Um, and they're variable and you can kind of mix and match them and create your own looks with them. So I'm really fired up about those and they're they're modular and simple and they just work and make great looks. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've played with a few of them and they're, they are, like they're just really, what's easy is you've done all the hard work. Mm -hmm. All I've got to do is tweak it. Yep, and, absolutely. <laughs> that, and that you can trust them. They're only going to do nice things to your picture. They won't do ugly things to your picture yeah, and then you can yeah. just grade underneath. Yeah. Well, we had a really good night last night, so thanks yeah, we for, did. Uh, you know, that was, you want to be a fly on the wall on that one, I thought. <laughs> um, so, thank you very much, man. Good see you, buddy. In Costco, trying to find a tripod. And we might have to settle for some bug repellents and almonds. This is not going to be successful. Hey! How you doing, mate? What's up, buddy? Good, Good to see, see you. It. But if you can see that on the camera... <laughs> Probably not, I think. <laughs> so it's that's really cool. I don't know how the anyone does this. <laughs> I didn't realize that when you do these, you can only be up for about four hours. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm primed and pumped and ready to go. Yeah, right. Uh, okay, let's knock this out and pull that battery in. Oh, it's been recording all that time. Jeez. So, Lucy, I'm at In N Out Burger just for you. And then we've also got uh, some good updates about uh, my course that's coming up. The sort of like intro level uh, color course that we're going to be teaching back in June. Color man. You see my flat t-shirt. Buddy, I'm trying to do a show here. What's going on? Yeah. Who's here? I reckon it's going to something. Yeah. Jim's here. Hi, Hines Jim. is here. How you doing, Jim? Hi, Jim. Hi, Jim. Hi, Jim. Hi, Jim. Look after yourselves. Good to see you, brother. Talk soon. Bye, dog. <laughs>